Hello people, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a RAM disk. Um, a RAM disk is a disk drive on your computer consisting of your RAM. Um, oh. And um, the thing is that you dedicate a part of your overall RAM to become a drive on your computer which you can access and uh, place files in as you please, just like a normal hard drive, just faster. Um, I'll be using the program RAM Disk, which is provided by Data RAM, um, and you can get this freeware version, which support up to uh, the creation of uh, up to one gigabyte disks, uh, yeah, drives on your computer, like uh, my solid state drive got 120 gigabytes. And uh, yeah, so that's just a single little gigabyte. Uh, or you can go with the Pro version. You can dedicate up to 32 gigabytes of your RAM to become a drive, or extreme up to 64 gigabytes. And uh, these cost money, obviously. And um, yeah, this is the software that I'm going to be using. So yeah, I'll leave the link to this page at in the description. Um, yeah, and we are gonna install the program, and you end up with this Rendis configuration utility, and you're gonna open that. And I pre-opened it because I have a uh, small delay when opening the program. I don't know why, but never mind that. And you end up with this panel, in which you can choose the size of the disk. Um, for this test, I'll be just making one and 12 gigabytes and uh, down here it says I, uh, it will say how many gigabytes are available in your system um, are available I, um, yeah, your overall RAMs in the system and in the uh, task manager you can check your performance and memory and you can check this over to the right I can see I get um, six, almost 16 gigabytes of free RAM. Um, obviously, this standby thing doesn't matter. You can, yeah, that's gonna be erased if you make a big one. That doesn't matter. This one is the important part. So I'm just gonna make one at 12 gigabytes. But you can check how much you got idle in here. Um, and we are gonna leave this unformatted. I will show you just in a second why. And then we got some other settings in here: load image, uh, disk image at startup, which uh, will then load a disk image if every time you boot up the PC and uh, show the disk, uh, the RAM disk, yeah, with the disk image in it, and. Um, Save image settings, which will make you will make the the program save a RAM disk to an image file, so that it, um, for example each time you boot up it will load the same image file again. So that's yeah that's just great, and you can edit the auto save button and uh, yeah and there's some other settings in here you can yeah that's doesn't matter, you can compress, you can create backup, you can time out, uh, yeah. yeah, whatever. And you are just, oh, I made that one. We are gonna make it at 12,000 megabytes. That's approximately 12 gigabytes. It will say 11.7 um, S, yeah. And we're gonna hit the start RAM disk. It's starting the RAM disk. And when it said data RAM, RAM disk started successfully, we are gonna go to computer. We are gonna right click on computer. We're gonna hit the manage in English. It's called manage. And we're gonna put this window in English. This is called dead disk management. And we're gonna hit that, and it should pop up with this. Maybe not disk three, but something like this. And we're gonna make master boot record, 
and OK. Yeah, and the reason why I did the unformatted thing is that now I can go in here and make a partition myself. I'm gonna just go next and yeah, show maximum size next. Drive letter. I'm gonna go for X because it sounds cool and uh, disk name. I'm gonna go for RAM disk obviously and file system NTFS instead of FAT32. But you can go with both. Sure, um, it might be yeah, not big of a difference really. And Express format sure, it it doesn't really matter. But you don't wanna compress uh, the files and map folders in the on the disk drive, so you leave that one off, I think. And we're gonna get a, a finish, and we got ourselves another RAM, another drive uh, consisting of our RAM. This one is sudden nothing, and we got the RAM disk right here. You see. 11.7 gigs overall, and you can see, um, yeah, yeah, here we go. So we got this. It's like a drive, normal drive. Yeah, that's great. And we are just gonna, I'm just gonna place something in there. Yeah, you can, yeah, just to show that you can transfer files to this folder, no problem. And you see, it's already here now. So, yeah. Now you got yourself a RAM disk, and you can place any. Uh, you can install programs if you set up these settings correctly, or you can. Yeah, you can install a game like the Petitions and get super fast load times and. Yeah, quick response or Call of Duty. Anything really which needs high transfer speed. Um, yeah, and just to show you guys how fast this thing is, I'm just gonna use the Crystal Disk Mark 5.1 version and the Disk Mark 4 bit. I'm gonna be using that in my system. We're just gonna set this low as it's a quick test, and so we're gonna select the drive we made, and that's the drive X. And we are just gonna hit the go button. Mm, and there's these over here are uh, different sizes of uh, size, chunk size of the files testing, and um, it'll show up with diff different uh, results as they are have different transfer speed for that reason. And um, you see 2.4 gig gigabytes per second. That's uh, pretty high comparing to another drive. Obviously, this one will mirror on this side so that it's pretty much the same. I think it, it's getting a little higher over here, but uh, who counts? Okay, we are gonna be testing another drive. I'm gonna be testing my C drive, which is a solid state drive which I can have HyperX yeah, that's solid state um, and I'm just gonna be testing that oh I'm gonna set this to two like the other and it's just gonna test and we are going to wait We can see the first read speed of the large files is at um, 450 megabytes per second. Um, yeah, and it will fall down like this one falls down, and yeah. Actually, I can see we got an extreme high transfer speed right here, 3.5 gigabytes per second. That it's pretty high end and I don't know if this one will make such a spike over here. Yeah it does as well. So I think that's normal but to compare 
this is my hybrid X uh, solid state drive and this is the RAM disk so yeah it's uh, it looks pretty good actually so yes, and you can see right speed are pretty much a little higher so just to show you guys I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna leave this here so I hope you enjoyed the video find it useful and uh, it helped you to see what you can use a RAM disk for and yeah I think that's it um, yeah I hope you enjoyed find it helpful like it whatever and um, yeah tell me if anything could have been better or things I should do different in future videos and so on thanks for watching bye